Good morning. Going to buy an action figure today. Hang on. I had to put my uniform on. Oh wait, this is one one key thing I'm missing from a proper toy hunt. Intro. All right, nerds, welcome back to Hey Archer. Yes, I mean, I've been, I've been dropping shorts. That this, this channel has become quite the shorts channel. But, um, oh, here we go. We got some pickup in this. Uh, this video has become quite the, uh, the shorts channel. Um, because I've just been too busy to, to do proper, proper vlogging. Uh, hang on. So, um, you know, if you want some more vlogs, I don't know if we really have a choice. <laughs> they'll they'll kind of come, come as they, as they may. But, uh, I wanted to do kind of like an update video on this channel, kind of a 2023 update. Um, no, I'm not in my truck. This is a rental. Uh, it is kind of fun to drive though. It's got a lot more pickup than I, my truck does. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get into all that stuff, I guess. If you could, uh, make sure down below, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you've been enjoying the content and have not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, well, let's talk about the year, but let's do this uh, this toy hunt and uh, I'll explain why it's not really, but it kind of is, but it's important. All right, hang on. All right, we're going inside. We're buying uh, just one figure. I, sw I swear, just one figure. I uh, recorded an entire discussion with all of you. On my phone, I was vlogging with the phone, had it going, and the phone, some reason, autofocused somewhere else. I think it was like on this mic, actually, and it bugged me. I, there's no way I could release that video with autofocus, like me being blurred out. I don't know, unless it was something you guys want to see. I'm not sure, but I figured I would play it safe. I'll record it with my normal setup here and uh, talk to you guys about what I talked about in that video. So... At the top, I mentioned I uh, went out to buy that this glorious Skeletor figure. So um, I'm going to talk about that. It's going to be the second thing I talk about. First thing I'm going to talk about, and make sure you use the timestamps down below depending on what you're interested in hearing about. First thing I'm going to talk about is just the state of this channel, 2023 state of this channel. 
and uh, what what you you can expect. Uh, maybe some ideas. I'm gonna you know I'll throw it to you. Let me know if you want to hear about that stuff, videos about that stuff, um, and then of course let me know down below what it is that you want to see in general. Maybe maybe you want to see something on this channel. I don't currently do, so let me know down in the comments. Now, first thing, stay the channel. Last year, about a year ago this time, it may, actually it might have been shorter than a year. I feel like it's been a year, but I, I could be wrong. About a year ago, I came out and I said I was going to stop the long form vlogs slash toy hunting uh, videos. And... At that point, I stopped the long form, continued with the shorts. So we had toy hunting shorts. We had unboxing shorts. It also allowed me to incorporate my photography into the shorts because after the unboxing, take photos, present it to all of you. I still love doing it that way um, because it saves me time on the creator end of things because most of my focus can remain over at Nerd Affiliated, which, by the way, subscribe to Nerd Affiliated. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. But I like the short form for that reason. Now, if you enjoy the short form, I will highly suggest, of course, you know, uh, laundry's done. I would, of course, suggest still subscribe here, still hit the bell, hit the thumbs up, and, you know, anytime you like it. Um, but I do highly suggest follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, Hey Archer, because a lot of times the shorts will end up there first. Sometimes they're there exclusively for music reasons, for copyright reasons. YouTube, it, it'll take, it takes me way longer to, you know, put in copyright free music versus using the music that's already cleared in TikTok and Instagram respectively. Um, did I say Instagram before? Or did I say YouTube before? Anyway. Most of the shorts are on Instagram and TikTok, uh, TikTok and Instagram, and uh, they eventually may end up on YouTube, but there's some that just don't for the sake of music. Uh, so there's that. Now, I do, I do, I would appreciate if you down below let me know if you enjoy that the short form stuff here on the channel, um, because if there's not a lot of enjoyment here on the channel then maybe they just stay on those other two uh, platforms and then I do something else here. Now, the other thing I'm thinking about doing here, General Kenobi mentioned in a video that he does miss the long form uh, vlog content here in the channel, which I do love making. So I, I don't, haven't stopped doing that. But um, he misses that content. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me know down below what y'all think of doing one vlog a month. To just post here on the channel. Uh, maybe it's longer form. I'm not sure. Um, but that's an option. Now. The other side of that coin. Is I've actually been recording. Content. Uh, for the last. Maybe six months or so. Six to eight months. And just not releasing it. And the idea there. Is. I was watching the. The documentary on Netflix for Kanye West or is it Hulu? I forget what, what app it's on. The one where they show like the behind the scenes of him, like going to the, the record companies and trying to, to start rapping and people are just like, no, your producer, all that stuff. Um, I was watching that documentary and I was like, it'd be cool if there was like a behind the scenes doc style for my work on nerd affiliated that came out maybe a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. I don't know. But it'd be cool to just go back, look at that stuff, and then drop like a long form video on it. So I have been recording some behind the scenes things, but um, I just I don't have the time at the moment to put them out weekly. It, it just with everything happening uh, with work, getting married this year, um, trying to keep nerd affiliated growing. Uh, I just don't have the time to put out weekly vlogs. And I don't want to reach a burnout point in content creation. So rest assured, content has been recorded, uh, but it will be released at a later date. However, I'm open to the idea of like a monthly giant toy hunt video, 
giant vlog type of thing. Um, that I could probably do. I could probably do that. But let me know down below what you think. Now, um, as I mentioned, my priority has been nerd affiliated. Uh, just to give you an update there. If any of you happen to not follow nerd affiliated, you should do so. That's the main channel. Um, it's, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Uh, thank you all of you who support the channel, who have subscribed, who have shared, who have liked, uh, who have donated, who've joined the memberships. Like we got monetized at the end of 2022, which is wild. Absolutely wild. There's videos about that over on the channel, but, um, the growth there has been amazing. Um, I'm excited to continue putting out content with Sal and Anthony over there. Excited to, to bring you more shows. We, we now have two live shows a week versus one. So, uh, a lot of fun stuff has been happening over there. And I, I want that to be the main priority because that's where the growth is happening. That's where the higher or, or more potential exists over there. Um, versus here just being super niche for just one thing of toy hunting and, and vlogging around that as far as my creator brain goes. Um, so subscribe over there. It's been going great over there. Appreciative to all of you over there and um, look forward to growing that this year. Um, now, the second thing I want to talk about is more on the collector side. So if you're done with that, you don't want to hear about that stuff. Hit the like, subscribe, peace. But for the rest of you, the reason I think you're all here anyway, toy hunting, collecting, all that, um, I want to talk about the state of collecting as we enter 2023. We're, well, we're 18 days into 20, 18 days, bro. We're 18 days into 2023. And um, there's a series I want to release of like maybe five videos where I mention the top five things each company that I collect needs to work on this year, uh, potentially going into next year. The companies I mainly collect now are NECA, Hasbro, and within Hasbro, there's lines, and um, Super 7. So I want to I wanna make a video on each of those, talk about things they each need to work on for this year. Uh, so let me know down below if you're interested in that. Um, whether you think it belongs here or over at Nerd Affiliated because it's more of a news thing, but because it's more of a toy thing, maybe it should stay here. Uh, I'm not sure. So I could definitely use your help. Let me know down below. Now, I went out this morning and I went on a toy hunt. Really, I was going for one thing. I knew they had it. I saw it there two days ago. And I was like, I'm going to buy this. Now, I went out and I purchased the... Masters of the Universe Skeletor from the live action 90s movie. And I paid full price. And Target tried to G me on this figure and they were charging me more than what it is on the website. Crazy. And I said, no, I said, no, no, sir. Give me that discount. Give me that refund. And she was nice enough. The lady was there. She gave me uh, the refund on that. Um, but it's one of the rare figures I've purchased at full price in the last year, I want to say. Uh, NECA Turtles, look, as I look at them in the closet, paid full price. Uh, actually, mostly it's NECA things I pay full price for, now that I think about it. Um, everything else, I've been waiting for clearance. And I'm, most, I'm fairly confident that a lot of you have been waiting for clearance as well on most things. And you're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong. I talked a couple, uh, I think two seasons ago, I talked about where I thought collecting was going, where we would ha run into an issue of shelves being absolutely stacked with figures because they were too expensive, or shelves being empty because they're just not replenishing anything. And I feel like we're, we're reaching one of those two points this month or next month. Now... Which way it goes um, kind of depends on us as collectors. And you're not wrong, I'm not wrong for over the last year waiting for things to get on clearance. Like, the prices of things have been so ridiculous. 
even outside collecting, which I've also talked about, I think, in some of those vlogs as prices were going up. The prices have been so ridiculous that waiting for clearance is like the best, it has been the best way to go to, to build your collection. Like if you want to, if you want to start building out your collection, you know, paying $30, $40, 50 for one figure has, has been a lot. And sadly for that price, you've been getting less in the packaging for those price points. So waiting for clearance, I've, I've been all about it. I've been buying a lot of my stuff on clearance. However, I do think that as collectors, we need to be aware of something. And that's what led me to buy that figure as I thought about it over the last two days. When we wait for items to go on clearance, and by the way, I'm not, there's no sponsorship here. Nobody's paying me to say this. There's no, there's no gun to my head on this one. Um, I can't believe I'm even talking about this uh, and defending the companies. Um, as we continue to wait for things to go on clearance, eventually we're essentially telling the companies, your product is not worth the money you're asking for. Um, we're only willing to pay this. Now, that's great, but to an extent. Now, there's two parties involved, for the most part, when the things are going on clearance. There's the toy company themselves, and then there's the store selling the figures. Now, if the store selling the figures is buying the figures from the company at X dollar and not able to sell it for the suggested value and only able to sell it at just over what they probably paid for, eventually they're going to start telling that company, I don't want your stuff. It's not moving. It's not selling. And depending on the line, depending on the figure, maybe depending on the brand, we don't want that to happen. We really don't want that to happen. Now, when it comes to a figure like Skeletor there, as a kid, I always wanted figures from that movie. That, ni that 90s movie was everything to me. I love that movie. And I never had a movie-accurate Skeletor and He-Man figure. He-Man, by the way, they released his trash, so I'm not telling you to buy that. But I never had a movie-accurate figure. But I do know I want more movie accurate figures. So because of that reason, I was like, you know, what? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to pay MSRP for said figure because I'm hoping that that speaks to them that, hey, people are buying this. It doesn't need a ridiculous discount. We're going to we're going to make more of this, build out that line, build out the collection. Um, I was watching. Uh, I forgot his name. Mega J Retro. I was watching Mega J Re uh, Retro and. I'm loving the channel. I've been watching a bunch of videos and I stumbled on his Super 7 Conan the Barbarian or sorry, King Conan figure. And he brings up a good point. He's like, you know, this figure, I've always wanted it. I'm going to reluctantly buy it because I've always wanted it. But the price is crazy. Like $100 for a figure and just a chair. It's kind of crazy. Um, but sadly, I think we need to say to ourselves, if there's a figure that we want more of this line out of, we're going to have to bite the bullet on some of them. I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all of them, but if there's a specific figure that you're like, ooh, as a kid, I wanted that because, you know, nostalgia's in these days. As a kid, I've always wanted that. Uh, as a collector, I've always wanted that. Oh, this, this head sculpt is way better than all these other ones that we got before. As collectors, we're going to have to start biting the bullet, paying the high prices, and maybe when the companies see everything else not selling at retail, they lower the, co the cost of everything or the prices of everything. But we don't want to just wait for everything to be on clearance because if we wait for everything to be on clearance every single time, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to be getting anything that we want, sadly. We're going to just keep getting repaints, and the repaints are maybe at a lower cost, but... That's about it. We're not going to get any new figures, new molds, uh, new lines, new expand expanded universe things, none of that stuff. Um, but I, like I said, I have ideas for each of the companies. Let me know down below if you're interested in a video on that. But more importantly, let me know if you're interested in that video being here on Hey Archer or over at Nerd Affiliated because that's a long form discussion video versus 
here traditionally it's just vlogging and behind the scenes stuff. Not sure. But either way, do keep an eye out. I will be unboxing Skeletor. I will be taking photos of Skeletor. And if you liked this movie, as I just look at it oh so nicely, it's this is a great figure. If you liked this movie, um, I'm going to ask you to buy this figure. I'm not asking you to buy He-Man. He-Man, don't, don't need it. Um, not with that face. Not with that head sculpt. But if you like this movie and you like the Skeletor, I'm going to just ask you guys to pay full price for it. Have Target realize that this figure needs to be replenished. Have Mattel realize they need to replenish this figure. And maybe, maybe we'll get more characters from that movie, hopefully at a reasonable price. Um, but I, I want more of this. I want more of this line, more of this, specifically the movie line. Um, and then as far as other companies go, like Super 7, I want, I want more Conan figures. So if you like that figure, buy it. NECA, we, we buy turtles all the time. We pay full price. Buy it. That way we get more. Um, and again, I'm not asking you to do that for every line. You know, don't go into debt trying to collect. But I will say, if you like a line, if you truly, truly like a line, buy it at the asking price just so they know to keep making more, to give us more of what we want. But there's a fine line. Companies, I'm asking all of you, all of Mattel, Hasbro, NECA, um, Mez, Mezco, Mez, Mezco, SH Figure Arts. I'm asking all of you guys. Um, you got to you gotta drop some prices. Because <laughs> we'll definitely buy more stuff at regular price if the prices come back down to normal. Just saying. Just saying. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below of all of that. Um, thank you for stopping by. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, so it feels good. feels good to do it. As I mentioned, uh, Nerd Affiliated, that's the main channel. Head over there, like, comment, subscribe, join the membership, uh, all that fun stuff. Here at Hey Archer, for now, more shorts are going to come out, but leave us a long form. Depends on you, your feedback, me down below. That being said, I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace.